print in there. Marvellous. So, so if you want to replicate, or even if you just want to do a cushion, you've got the book, you want to do, I don't know, the peacock block, just as a cushion. Yeah. You can now, you know, have enough, churn them out, churn the loads out for Christmas. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, then. So you've got that beautiful colour there. Yep, so let's open it out. Right then, so what I've done, um, du -du -du -dum. this is the rouge, by the way. Yeah. Where are we? Put this on. So you've got um, the pattern, cut it out. I've, I'm using the original one, so mine's tatty because I've already used it. So the peg bag, that's your pattern. So initially, you're going to cut out the quarter circle, and it's, you know, it's, it's rounded on the bottom there. Don't worry about the hole for now because let's leave it all as one piece okay while we get it stitched so um in fact it would be a good idea to move out um move out that before i hack through that because you know that's kind of a anthea trick i keep saying to people i'm not the best sewer but i enjoy what i'm doing that's so, what it's all about yeah so so if you're watching and uh, and you think it's going to be a perfect demonstration you may be disappointed if you're looking for bloopers you may get what you're watching <laughs> <laughs> all is good so i'm just going to roughly cut this out to get rid of the bulk okay um yeah, I've made some howling, uh, howling sewing errors while I've been here doing oh, it live. Oh, I think we all have. <laughs> Absolutely. Most, most of the time, I don't have to fess up to it, but, um, but yeah, sometimes I think, ooh, I got away with that one. <laughs> <laughs> all good. Oh, but just listen. But I, don't, I don't mind, you know, because to me, that's, it's just part of the journey, isn't it? Well, it's real Enjoy life. it. Enjoy the whole process. Absolutely. Yeah. So you could cut this out with your rotary cutter if you wanted to, but okay. do you know what? I'm just, uh, I'm just going to do it with the scissors. Um, where are we? Right then. So I'm cutting out my tweed to size. Yeah. My bosels to size. My lining, I've cut it just a little bit bigger. You don't have to, if you're accurate, you can cut it precisely to size. But I wanted mine a bit longer, and right. I you'll see why in a minute. Um, da -da -da -da, she says, get round there. Nice. Um, just a quick mention that we do have the bosel on the show. Uh, so it's 0 0.5 millimetres by 50, oh, half a metre, of course it is. <laughs> that yes. would be the smallest piece. Meg's like, you are, yep, you know me and my eyesight, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so the, 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 uh, once we got uh, using the Bosley in our form, it yeah. really opened a lot of doors to us because it lets you do things that can be structural. Yeah. They'll stand up on their own. Yeah. Um, and it's just, you know, it, it just it, oh, it opened up possibilities. Uh, yeah, so, so just to clarify, it's half a metre. Not a millimetre, <laughs> half a metre by 58 inches, lovely for Well, our Anadonis has cut them already and they're all half a metre, okay, so you're, good. you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> now then, I've got to remember which way around I did this and it wouldn't be, uh, you know, <laughs> we can go wrong. So if, we, if this turns out and it's the wrong way up, I should read my own instructions, shouldn't I? So, right, so we've got the lining right side against what's going to be the outer fabric. Yeah. And we've got this on top okay i'm going to sew around there i'm going to cut it out yeah and then i'm going to pull the lining through now if anybody's at home going oh gosh that lining's going to come inside out i think should i use calico shouldn't i <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, no, then I hope you would know <laughs> <laughs> but anyway you'll get the gist yeah. you'll get the gist <laughs> um we've had a picture would you like to see Anthea? oh yes please uh this is from deb excellent Oh, Beverly, I'm so sorry. I can't hear either. Um, oh, oh, she says... That's you've, the one. That's it. She says, you've cost her a fortune, she says, because <laughs> she's bought so many of your patterns. Keep um, up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh, say that again, Meg. She's made, yes, she's made the dragon from the Chinese book, and she says, the writing says, I love you. Oh. That's glorious. Bev, that is just beautiful, and the colours are amazing. That's pride of place that I just think that's beautiful thank you for taking the time to send this in because honestly we can't tell you how much we appreciate you taking the time out of your day but it's, it's nice to see your artwork on the telly as well isn't it uh, so do keep your pictures coming in we've got enough time I reckon studio at hachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook update on our namaste 
uh, of the booklet. Remember, 10 projects in here. 60% of the stock has gone. You get the pattern for Albert as well. Uh, it's uh, £23.99. pence. item number is 495022. Back to you, Anthea. Right. So, uh, just switch my foot. I was using the zipper foot to do the circular... Um, box oh yeah, yeah last night um you've so, been extremely busy oh, well um <laughs> i don't know whether it was good or bad planning but we do um, some facebook sales every month yeah last friday of the month well yesterday was the last friday of the month oh and the plan was that i would come off air at eight o'clock yeah. and then drive down here last night but all day i'm like such and such needs doing such and such needs doing right so at one o'clock this morning <laughs> is that when you drove down no i was finishing samples <laughs> Did you drive down this morning then? Yeah. Good grief. Yeah. You need to go. I'll make I'm you a cup of tea after on, this. I'm living on love. <laughs> <laughs> love of a good chauffeur. Yeah. <laughs> He's sat out in the car park now having 40 winks before he drives me home. Bless. <laughs> oh. He's a good one. He's yeah. a good one. Now we're on it. it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Right. So, whew. now then, if this comes out and the lining's uh, on the, facing the wrong way, all we're going to do, ladies and gents, is we're just going to laugh, is what we're going to do. And if you're at home, you might laugh and you might you might say a rude word too, but you'd just get your own pick around and you'd redo yeah. it, is what you'd do. Absolutely. Um, and it's all about, you've got to enjoy it. You've got to have fun. Yeah, so, okay. so what we're doing here is the hole. Yeah. Now, you might think... Why do I need a lesson on doing a hole? But if you show the sure hole on that one, Alex, yeah. you'll see it's really nice and neatly finished off. Yes, you can And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Lovely. And we're just going to keep our fingers crossed the lining's the right side Excellent. out. Because I'm uh, so exhausted, I am to clue. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get you a good tea, don't we? So if I could just show the, this then, that lovely finishing off around here. It does look very nice and professional, this. There you go. Lovely. Look at that. Brilliant. Thanks, Anthea. Right. Okie dokes. So, I've gone round. Now, this is the scary bit. I'm just going to put a, a slice in there. And then I'm going to cut out fairly close to the stitching. And I'm only going to cut what's in the hole. So, you've got to be careful that you've got nothing that's, um, you know, escaped. Wouldn't be the first time, would it, ladies and gents, where you've gone to cut something and you've you've cut what's beneath and you think, oh, blinking heck. Well, we're all human, Anthea. <laughs> like, on air, I am absolutely brilliant for knocking pack shots over. <laughs> I'm genius at that. <laughs> I've got now, I just feel really liberated about the whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's what we do, innit? You've got to have fun. Absolutely. It's the main thing. There but, you go. Right. Whew. Right then. So, what we're going to do now is push this lining. Da 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 da! Is it all right? It's the right side. Good stuff. <laughs> so, push it through the hole. Now, I do have an iron beside me. I'll just move that board. Um, because I've got the bosal in here. Now, the bosal I use is double fusible. That means that it's sticky with the iron on both sides. Got you. So, before I iron it, now I've checked that whew, it works. Excellent. We got away with that one. <laughs> Did indeed. So, um, just get my little scissors and I'm going to trim the bosal back to the stitching. So, I'm not trimming the, the seam allowance on the fabric. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, just taking out the thickness on the bosal, and the point of that, if I just yep. show you, yep. so here, whoops, you can see it's struggling to get out of sight. Okay. Whereas once I start trimming it, yes. so this bit here that I've trimmed, uh -huh. oops, it'll pull in. See, yes. it'll be a lot tidier. Don't be scared of the bosal, really don't. If you're doing this and you snip through your stitching, okay, what's the solution? If you unpick if it, you snip through, oh, no, oh, if you snip through your stitching, you've got to re-sew it there. Just sew it round again. Yeah, yeah. So don't be scared of it. You're only going to take the bosal, and if you just nip into your fabric, don't worry, because it's just call it clipping your curves. Okay. <laughs> Which I don't think you need to do, really, because this circle should, should let you get away with it. So, um... Um, just while you're doing this, I've got a bit of a stock update, if okay. I may. Okay, yep. Okie dokie. 
Okay, so this is our lovely birds of a feather. Now, this is the fabric pack. We have now sold out. I mean, so this one is block three. Now, Anthea did say, hopefully, she's going to chat to our buyers um, and try and get some of, um, not, not today, obviously, but try and get some of block one and um, block two. Um, Okie dokie. So that one has now sold out. We'll see what we can do, though. See what we can do. OK, um, back to you then, Anthea. Right, so I'm, uh, I'm snipping round. Oops. There we go. Just take a moment, because although I'm laughing and, you know, if you snip through your stitching, blah, 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 I'd rather not snip, snip through my stitching. So let's just go around. Take your time. I've got my little curved scissors. I think there is still some of these on your website, these curved scissors. Oh. And this, it, they're perfect for this, because you see the curve? Yeah. As you're going along flat, the point's up out of yeah, the way. Yeah, perfect. They, they really are perfect, and I've been hammering these for ages. Um, Very useful. And I, I'm kind of like this. I'm not gimmicky. No. I, I don't like um, buying tools for the sake of tools. Yeah. And, uh, and also, as I said, I'm really conscious that, you know, not everybody's got the budget to do that. And I, I really have been in that place. Mm -hmm. So, but these are really worth the money. Excellent. Um, so, uh, let's go oh. around. We've, we've just found them actually. So you, if you yep. concentrate there, I'll leave you to concentrate for a second. Then we can show you these lovely scissors. So here we go. Eight ninety nine for your double curved scissors. Um, they look very posh as well. To be they honest, they do look posh. Hey, it says on there uh, twenty four karat gold as well. Yeah. I was with uh, one of the presenters when I first brought them on. He went, "Hey, they're uh, they're gold." I'm like, "Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah. I had to get a packet out and have a look." <laughs> Right, so we've got the lining through. Now, what I do when I'm pressing on this um, in our form is I start with the good side. The double fusible, I do find yeah. it does frighten some of you. Don't be frightened because if you press it down and it's creased or whatever, it's like a plaster. Just pull it back and you can reapply. It will allow you to do that. So um, I'm just going to use this bit of tweed and just give the table some protection. I think we're okay because we've got enough layers. We should Absolutely. get away with this. Well, we will get away with it. There we go. So um, I'm going to just gently pull my lining from underneath and just work it with your fingers. Now, when you're um, ironing with tweed, it's completely against... Where are we? Oh, the iron's gone to sleep. We'll just give it a minute to just... Uh, just catch up um, completely against what we do as crafters because as crafters we are dry iron all the way with tweed steam iron you Ooh. need that steam because it's a bit thicker yeah and the dry iron it's it's a little bit ineffective use the steam mm -hmm. and it's just really gummy okay. and, and it does um, let's have a yep yeah, we're here now right so just take your time working it round there we go pull that um, lining underneath whoops so you'll see as the tweed starts to stick on the top and a little um, tip you know when you're bag making with the uh, using the bosal in our form yeah if your bags get tired and I said to you before the hour the peg bag on the counter this one? I really felt I, sh I could have just ironed it before it will refresh oh that's so good. that one's been crumpled up in the box coming down here so it, it's just you know the layers have just kind of ungummed themselves a tiny bit yeah just refresh with the iron okay so, so just you, steam it yeah well no just get your iron in there whack oh, it on really? the board. Okay. yeah Fair yeah enough. be rough with yeah. it um but like if you've made a bag using the in our form just boss it just you know if it looks a bit um Right, yeah, I'm going to just show you that it's stuck all Ooh. the way through. But on this side, I'm not quite 100% happy there. Right. So all I'm going to do, you can see it's quite creased, just pull it back. Okay. And then pull it and start oh, again. Good. Yeah. So it's kind of, you know, I just wanted you at home to get over the fear of the, the double fusible. Because I think when we're used to using things like the fusible webs, yes. and you don't get a second chance. You know, if it goes wrong, you've ruined your fabric, really. So this one's very for it's forgiving. It's very, very forgiving. So I'm going round, I'm putting this on nicely. It's all going lovely. Um, you know, we, we laugh and we joke, but we do like it when it goes oh, properly. Oh, absolutely. And <laughs> so just while you're finishing go. off the ironing, you happy for me to do a quick recap? Oh, absolutely. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Excellent. And then we'll come back to you. Okay, so the pattern booklet, Namaste. 
We are now going to India. Now we are 70% of the stock gone. I think I should, because you, you may just be joining us, have a little flick through. Obviously you get full instructions, but um, you're getting 10 fabulous patterns. So here we've got our lovely elephant. So you've got all the instructions so that you can applique your elephants on, different sizes. And as we're saying, look, uh, you've got Albert the elephant. I love that. You can make the pattern for him. Uh, what else have we got? Let's take a look. Uh, again, you can see the full instructions. Look at this one. We've got our fabulous lotus flower. Marvellous. Do you know what I should do? Bear with me. Let's do it from... No, it's me. It's just me. Right, then, there you go. You've got the beautiful peacock in there. Ah, oh, he's just beautiful. And then, hang on. Here's our Albert. And there, look at that. That's the other peacock for your tea cosy. Amazing. And... Oh. Sorry. Let's bring this one in. So you've got your, again, your uh, other elephants. That's fab. What else have we got in here? Let's turn this around. Oh, look at that. You've got Taj Mahal. Beautiful. You've got your lovely Paisley. So there's 10 projects in there for you to uh, have a little look at. Full instructions, but it's beautiful. Again, that is the genuine price, $23.99, and you've got that, f as in, that's your price today. You've got a £41 saving. The usual price would be $64.99 because they're £6.49 each, okay? And this is, did you say exclusive to us here? Absolutely. Excellent. Um, we are now three quarters of the stock gone of the Namaste uh, booklet there, and it's 495022. Okay, fabric packs. So again, I'm going to reiterate, the fabric packs you buy separately so that you can applique the patterns in here. Okay, hopefully I've made that clear. Um, so this is the, now I've got a Hathi and Buta. Hathi is the elephant, because you were, you were teaching me this as well. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and Buta is the paisley. So what you're getting is the lovely fabrics for the applique bits. There you go. And then you can add any backings that you like. Um, beautiful colours. Look at that. You've got the shiny, shiny, as I like to say. Vibrant, vibrant colours. Yeah, Meg's going... That's a you pink, Alex. That's a you pink. There you go. The blues. This is totally for me. I love them. Okay, so you'll be able with that pack to do the applique that we see on the cushion and on our lovely bag here. But obviously, they can go on anything. You can put the paisley on a bag and do what you like. Um, we are 60% of the stock gone. 23.99. Item number is 094722. Then, um, right, we've got two different options of the peacock. Um, so. This is the sapphire. Again, once you've bought the book, add this in and then you can create the beautiful applique on here. So we've got all those traditional peacock colours. Loving those. So that's sapphire. Then under the same item number, we've got Bianca. I've got a soft spot for Bianca because she looks really ethereal. She does, doesn't she? Yeah. yeah. That, I love Bianca. But I mean, this one's just as lovely. Sapphire's just as lovely. But... Um, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful colours. Fifteen ninety nine for either of those fabric packs. Item number is 617183. Then we've got our dancers. Um, so Bangra dancers, isn't it? Yeah. Love that. It's, and it's a fabulous... I'd love to dance like that. It's so energetic as well. Hey, can I just say it? Yeah. Uh, I, I nearly forgot. So earlier um, in the week, yeah. I put a, a Facebook post on Instagram, whatever. Yeah. Social media post, yeah. that's the word. Asking for inspiration, and I said the people who inspired the designs are yeah. going to get a mention in the patterns, okay. and uh, and they get a free copy of their of oh. that pattern. So there is going to be, I will put it on the social media, but mm -hmm. there will be some freebies flying out. Ooh, they, thank you, yeah. Anthea. Spoiling us. <laughs> hey, um, it was team effort, was this? Team effort, <laughs> love it. So um, for your lovely dancer. Oh, yes, you can make five of them, by the way, from this pack. So you can see you've got the skin tone in there. Also, the hair colour is in there. Beautiful. That is £15.99 for our lovely lady here to make her, well, five of them. Item number is 809286, I think that was. And then if you want to make the... I love the snake charmer. I love him. He's brilliant. And I love the snake. I think it's just because I find it absolutely fascinating. Whenever I've, I've never been to India, but whenever I've seen it on documentaries and TV, I'm just like, how the heck do they do that? Well, I'm not actually a snake fan. Yeah. Um, well, my, my son I'm had rather, one. Yeah. And, uh, and I've got to say, it wasn't my favourite. I was 
curious, but it was, ooh. Yeah, yeah. But that, I don't know, any fear of snakes is just to one side. Because it yeah. it's that swaying, it's the music, it's the atmosphere. You can kind of, in, in my head, I can conjure up being in that marketplace yeah. and watching that happening. And it just, I don't know, I just felt transported to a different Absolutely. place with this. Love it, love it. Um, now, so it's under a different item number, but it is the same fabric pack. It's just the way we've sort of done it for you today. So the Snake Charmer, uh, again, 15.99. Item number is 062336. Then our Lotus <coughs> Flower. This one's been really busy. So uh, apologies to keep reiterating. It's just if we get new people tuning in and out all the time. So once you've bought the book, if you want to make these exact colours... Uh, then we've got the fabric pack that you can add on for the lotus flower pattern. Uh, yeah, so just to reiterate, the fabric packs themselves don't come with patterns. That's why I'm saying you need the book first and then you add your fabrics on. Uh, 15 99 I mean, just look at that. It's beautiful. And enough to make the elephants as well. Stunning. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, so this is your fabric pack. There you go. Uh, 15 99 980 Zero, zero. And then last but not least, the Tuk Tuk. Have, where are you? I think I've got it. Yes, here we are. So that's the, because um, we haven't got a sample. It's only because, bless you, you've been too, you've been so busy. So I don't <laughs> I blame certainly you. have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you've got two different sizes that you can make. And then here is the uh, really bright fabrics. Love those. 15.99, item number is 323496. Okay, now the Birds of a Feather Block 3, we are able to get some more, but it's on extended delivery. Now, it'll be dispatched from the 1st, thank you, the 1st of April, 29.99, item number is 815735. Uh, and a reminder of the pattern for that, so this is separate. Uh, it's 23.99, item number is 187323. Phone lines, again, are super, super busy. Please do go to the website. It's your fastest way to order. Uh, so, Anthea, how are we getting on? We've only got five minutes. Where's this hour gone? Well, it, it just sucks time, doesn't know, it, being doesn't... here? Right, so what I've done while, while, um, while I was out of the room, or you were out of the room, whichever, is mm -hmm. I've just finished ironing it, just paid just to take an extra minute just to pull it tight. So these little straggly threads look, just tidy them up. And that's it. And then what I've done, easier to show you from the line inside, I've top stitched round. Now I top stitched from this side because I wanted my neatest stitching to be on the top. And I just used the edge of the foot on the sewing machine against the edge of this circle just so that I could be even all the way around. Now, just to point out, there was just two little places where I had um, a little moment and I can't even see where they are because it was such a tiny moment and it was because this is so solid yeah as I went around and it bumped into the machine okay it didn't flow and I, I just had to bethink myself and thought oh curl it up so if you're sewing at home yeah and you think oh it's stuck it's not your machine just Curl that up a little bit and yeah. it will go around. Excellent. It's absolutely fine. It's easy sewing, it really is. Now then, do you remember at the start, I cut the lining a little bit bigger than I needed? Yeah. Because when you turn it through, if there's any problems, so the, the one you've got on the desk when we made that, and this is where we cut our teeth and iron out any problems, as I pushed it through, the lining was a little bit short. Okay. Which we got away with, but I don't want you to have the same issues. Right. So if you just cut your lining a little bit more to begin with, then when you push it through, you're fine, and all you're going to do is just even that up. And that's, that is as simple as it is. Okay. So we like simple at Quilting Antics. It kind of fits with the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> so just neaten it up. That's it. Round yep. you go. And then again, you can uh, neaten, whoops, neaten the sides. So all I'm going to do once I've neatened up, it really is as simple as this. I'm mm -hmm. going to put the two straight edges together. And I'm going to join them. Okay. Whoosh, straight down. Now, it's really important, yeah. um, and again, you'll be able to demonstrate in the finished sample, yeah. you can see the seam. So it's going to be a little bit tatty. So what, what to do, cut yourself a strip of binding, uh, a strip of your lining, okay. two and a half inches wide, yeah. fold it in half, and I'm just going to um, use this little bit of scrap that I've got here. Fold it in half, 
put your raw edges against the raw edges of the, the seam, sew that on, and then this will then, the neatened edge will go over the top, hiding, hiding the raw edges inside. Mm. It's a bit skinny, really, for doing what I want to do. And then I just came back down the other side of the seam with the machine. Yeah. Because it's inside, it's not like the... Um, the binding on a quilt, you'd want to do it hand stitch. You want it to be lovely from both sides. Uh -huh. But this, you're fine. Just to do it on the machine, both sides, it takes a few minutes. That's okay. it. But then you'd have a nicely bound seam that matches your lining. Got you. And it would be lovely. And the other thing I thought as well with that, if I was to do it again, do you know where I'd put the snake? Where? Inside. On oh. the lining. Because as you... Because um, that makes sense. It's coming up out of the... Yeah, yeah. So, so your snake would uh, would be coming up. I like that. I, I actually thought that really would be like a little that. cool, cool addition. Because I mean, you can play with the kids, can't you? Like, oh, be careful putting your hand in. <laughs> Do you think, actually, I'm having a think, could you make a 3D one then? Could you, could you like, make a little backing for him and stuff him? Well, I think you could. And, and don't forget, I've called this a peg bag, yeah. right? Bedrooms, tidies. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, oh, just to say, when I sewed the sides, I did fold that down a bit um, so that you can put your hanging loop in. And I've also got here yeah. um, a carabiner. It's just uh, a cheap one from yeah. the DIY shop, local okay. DIY shop. Um, and that will go on the hook. So, you know, if you're going on your washing line, but if you, you know, if you want them in a bedroom, they'd be great, wouldn't they? I, I really um, think so. You know, because you, you can alter the size, you can play with it and do what you want with it. Yes. Yeah. What you're actually wanting off us is the making up instructions, which you've now got. Um, you know, make them bigger, make them smaller. Yeah. Make games with them, as you say, put put a stuffed toy in there, I like whatever. That. You, make, you know, make them little wigwams, whatever. Oh, that's <laughs> a lovely idea. Um, yeah, but, they'd be great in the garden too, wouldn't why they? For fun. Not? I yeah. love that. Um, we, Anthea, we're virtually out of time. Can you I know, believe it? I can't it? believe how quick these shows go. I know. <laughs> so, we'll, should we just show? Are we going to show the what what you can make in here? Excellent. So, we've got our ten different projects. You're not even seeing all of them here. So, you get the pattern for our lovely Albert. I love him. Then we've got Hathi. You've got the Booter in here. The lovely Paisley. They're really effective. You've got those. Sapphire Peacock. You've also got the other Peacock, but he's on the wall. So, um, Then we've got the Bangra Dancer, our Snake Charmer. Let's turn him around. Lotus Flower. And you will also have the Tuk Tuk uh, you, that you'll be able to make. Oh, here's our other Peacock. Which oh, Alex, uh, Project 10 as well is the Taj Mahal. Oh, Dr. of course, yep. yes. Thank you for saying that. I bet you I can't find... I found it Ooh. in time. <laughs> Top of the class. So that's another project. Yeah. There you go. And we did mention the Tuk Tuk, which is... So then hopefully you'll have seen all ten projects, which is here. There you go. OK, so of the booklet, 80% of the stock has gone. You'll have your full instructions. It's absolutely brilliant, uh, absolutely brilliant price at 23 99 Usual price should be 64 99 Thank you for sending in any pictures. We really, really appreciate it. Very quickly, Anthea, do you know when you're next in? Uh... No, <laughs> that's all right. Put, I'm back in spot. April. Uh, we're going to be looking at some crafts. We're going to look at a little bit of myth, myth and magic, <laughs> and we're off to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Anthea. That was really good fun. Uh, next, then, we have got Springtime with Hobby Art, followed by Crafts 2 uh, with our lovely John, and then Jelly Bean Crafts. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join Hachanda Freedom today. 
Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Julie Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. For the past six years, Hachanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Hachanda that we've always been. We're, We're just, just getting, getting a brand new name. Demonstration-led full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to the Craft Store, your home of everything craft. 